a Nerf gun war turned into a real-life shooting, drawing blood from a TikToker, and a stalker getting way too close for comfort. They're legends in their sports, but they're not above the law. Danny Alves is widely considered to be one of the greatest soccer players of this century and has the skills to back that up. Alves has represented Brazil in their international team since 2006, and he played for them at the Olympic Games in 2021. Professionally, Alves was at the top of his game, but he ran afoul of the law in early 2023. On January 20th, 2023, Alves was arrested and taken into custody by Spanish police for a sexual assault charge. The alleged incident occurred on December 30th, 2022 at a nightclub in Barcelona. Spain. When the media caught wind of the arrest, Liga MX Club Puma's chairman, Leopoldo Silva, announced that the team terminated Alves's contract. Since his arrest, the judge ordered that the player be held in prison without bail following the allegations from the unnamed victim. While Alves denied the accusations, Spanish newspaper El Periodico reported that tests from the victim's person and clothing matched his DNA. Alves is expected to stand trial and faces up to 15 years in prison. Asharaf Hakimi's career had a meteoric rise due to his impressive skills and his ability to play multiple positions on the field. Hakimi bounced around before landing at Paris Saint-Germain in 2021, where he scored a five-year contract reportedly worth tens of millions of dollars. In March 2023, a woman accused Hakimi of rape, telling Paris police that he paid to fly her to his home in Paris while his wife and children were out of town. The alleged victim met with police the following day, and after questioning Hakimi, the Paris police preliminarily charged him with rape. In French law, a preliminary charge doesn't necessarily mean it will go to trial, though a judge may proceed with the trial following an investigation. Nate Diaz's career began in mixed martial arts, and he competed in the Ultimate Fighting Championship for more than 15 years. In April 2023, Diaz found himself in a tussle on Bourbon Street in New Orleans, Louisiana. The fight resulted in a warrant issued for his arrest on suspicion of second-degree battery. Diaz surrendered to the New Orleans Police Department a few days later and left after posting a $10,000 bond. Onlookers caught the brawl on video, and it went viral. During the fight, Diaz put TikToker Rodney Peterson in a chokehold, rendering him unconscious. The video shows Peterson lying motionless in the street after things settled down, and the influencer displayed his bloody scalp online after the incident. After witness statements and better footage emerged, the charges against Diaz were dropped in September 2023, as Diaz's team maintained that he acted in self-defense. Sonya Deville found her way to the WWE as a contestant in Season 6 of WWE Tough Enough in 2015 and ended up signing with the WWE later that year, remaining with the organization ever since. Deville's 2023 arrest was reportedly an indirect result of a traumatic event in her life. In 2020, ESPN reported that an obsessed fan broke into Deville's home after preparing for the invasion for eight months with plans to kidnap Deville. While nobody was injured, the incident understandably rattled Battled the WWE star. So I was messing with the lock. I looked up. I saw him. I was terrified. I started screaming. I don't even know what I said. Something like, "What the f are you doing here?" Sources told TMZ that after the break-in, Deville obtained a handgun and the necessary permits for Florida. Unfortunately, a Florida permit doesn't work outside the state, which Deville learned on February 19th. 2023. While she was in Atlantic City, New Jersey, DeVille handed her car over to a valet who found her gun in the glove compartment. TMZ reported that after calling the police about the firearm, the Atlantic City Police Department charged and arrested DeVille with one count of unlawful weapon possession. As of November 2023, DeVille's case has yet to be seen in court. After winning the Ultimate Fighter 13 in 2011, Tony Ferguson joined the UFC and has remained with the organization throughout his professional fighting run. Ferguson's career isn't full of stories of criminal behavior outside of the octagon, but that changed in early May 2023. TMZ reported that in early May 2023, while driving his truck in Hollywood at around 2 a.m., Ferguson crashed into two parked cars, flipping his vehicle on its side. Fortunately, nobody was injured in the incident, but Ferguson's behavior landed him in legal trouble. The fighter reportedly had bloodshot eyes and smelled of alcohol, earning him an arrest and a misdemeanor charge of driving under the influence. Additionally, Ferguson rejected a field sobriety test, which could cost him his license for at least one year. Raquana Williams became both a WNBA champion and all-star player in her career due to her talented scoring, but her off-the-court conduct brought her to the attention of law enforcement multiple times. Florida police arrested Williams in April 2019 for assaulting her ex-girlfriend, costing her 
a 10-game suspension from the WNBA. Williams also allegedly pulled out a gun and threatened a man at the scene before driving off. The player was eventually charged with felony burglary and aggravated assault. Police arrested Williams for domestic violence again, this time in July 2023. Williams faced nine total counts with five felony counts and four misdemeanors for domestic battery against her spouse. The case began preliminary hearings in September 2023, but the district attorney dropped the charges when the victim failed to appear to testify at a hearing, though the case could still go to a grand jury. Unlike most professional boxers, Deontay Wilder didn't start boxing at an early age, as the Bronze Bomber first laced up his gloves at 20 years old in 2005. Within just a few years, Wilder won the 2007 Golden Gloves National Tournament of Champions, as well as taking home the bronze medal at the 2008 Olympics. In 2013, Las Vegas police arrested Wilder for domestic battery by strangulation, which was his first brush with the law. In May 2023, the Los Angeles Police Department arrested him during a traffic stop. While driving in Hollywood around 1.15 in the morning, police pulled Wilder over due to an obstructed license plate and illegal window tinting. Smelling marijuana coming from the car, the police searched his vehicle and ended up finding a handgun, landing Wilder a charge for possession of a concealed weapon. He released a statement they believe is uh, uh, in, in talking in this. He said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Bashad Breland's career in the NFL has seen him move from one team to another. But off the gridiron, Breland's actions have gotten him arrested multiple times. In April 2020, South Carolina officers arrested Breland for several charges, including having an open container of alcohol in his vehicle, resisting arrest, and possession of marijuana. Additionally, Breland was driving without a valid license. That arrest resulted in a guilty plea, fines, and a 30-day suspended sentence. On August 7, 2023, police in Charlotte, North North Carolina arrested Breland on multiple charges. His vehicle was reported stolen, and the car was full of various drugs and concealed firearms, including at least four assault rifles. The total of eight weapons, marijuana, and alleged mushrooms in the stolen car brought six criminal charges upon him, and Breland could be facing jail time and fines should he be convicted at trial. Julio Urias joined the MLB with the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2016, and while he's a star athlete on the field, Urias's time off the field is a bit more chaotic, with the pitcher having found himself facing multiple arrests. In May 2019, the Los Angeles Police Department arrested Urias for domestic battery after reportedly pushing a woman he was with to the ground. The prosecutor didn't file charges, deferring any action for one year. Urias was cleared of the charges by avoiding arrest during the subsequent year and attending domestic violence counseling for 52 weeks. Despite the dropped charges, the MLB suspended Urias for 20 games in accordance with its policy. On September 3, 2023, Urias found himself in a similar situation following an incident at a soccer match. He was arrested and released on a $50,000 bond. Details of the incident remain unclear, though TMZ reported that a witness saw Urias physically assault a woman and alerted police. After the arrest, the Dodgers put the player on administrative leave. Urias became a free agent at the end of the 2023 season and can face another suspension or more severe sanction resulting from the incident. Throughout his career, Joe Mixon's activities off the field have landed him in trouble with the law. In 2014, Mixon reached a plea deal after being charged with assaulting a woman, earning himself court-mandated counseling, 100 hours of community service, and a one-year suspension from his college football team. On February 2, 2023, a woman accused Mixon of pointing a gun at her and threatening to shoot her during a traffic incident. The alleged action resulted in a misdemeanor charge of aggravated menacing. Police initially dismissed the charges against Mixon but refiled them following an investigation. Mixon had his day in court in August 2023, and after a four-day trial, he was found not guilty. Mixon's second run-in with the law in 2023 came in March after police arrived at his home in response to a report of gunshots. Police found a minor outside the house with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound but didn't charge Mixon with a crime, nor was he a suspect. Instead, police charged Mixon's sister and her boyfriend, Lamonte Brewer, for the shooting. The prosecutor says a group of teens were playing Nerf Wars last week in the area when Brewer went outside and began firing his gun. In August, the miners' family sued Mixon, since the incident took place at his home and they claimed he supplied the bullets from the shooting.
While his skills on the court made him a star, Kevin Porter Jr. has found himself in trouble with the law multiple times over the years. In November 2020, Porter faced a felony gun charge and driving without a license, though a grand jury declined to indict him and the charges were dropped. On September 11, 2023, New York City police arrested Porter for allegedly assaulting his girlfriend, WNBA player Kaiser Gondrasic. Gondrasic exhibited several injuries, including a laceration above her eye and a fractured vertebrae in her neck. Porter Porter's charges include felony assault and strangulation, and the Houston Rockets responded almost immediately, permanently barring Porter from the organization before trading him to the Oklahoma City Thunder, who immediately released him. Playing in the NFL since 2010, Jimmy Graham didn't have any problems with law enforcement until 2023. And one could argue that Graham still hasn't had any problems with law enforcement despite being arrested on August 19, 2023. As reported by TMZ, police in Newport Beach, California arrested Graham for obstructing a police officer and suspicion of being under the influence of narcotics. The arrest occurred in the evening after Graham hid in some bushes before running from security at a resort. The Saints quickly commented on Graham's arrest and came to his defense, saying he experienced a medical episode. Graham had a medical episode. They called it, quote, a likely seizure, which would explain his level of disorientation. Graham's arrest led to two charges that were ultimately dropped. And according to ESPN, he thanked the Los Angeles Police Department, saying they were helpful during his medical episode. Chandler Jones started his NFL career with the New England Patriots in 2012 and played four Pro Bowls between 2015 and 2021. Jones hadn't encountered any run-ins with law enforcement until September 2023. As reported by AP News, on September 7th, Jones posted several unusual messages to his social media accusing the Las Vegas Raiders management of sending a crisis response team to his home. On September 26, Jones revealed on X, formerly Twitter, in a now-deleted tweet that the fire department admitted him to a behavioral health center against his wishes. A few days later, on September 29th, Las Vegas police arrested Jones on two counts of violating a protective order. The arrest related to a temporary domestic violence protective order brought by Jones's ex-girlfriend, who alleged domestic battery on September 12, 2020. The Raiders released Jones from the team after his September 29th arrest. Though he had been away from the team for several weeks before his arrest, he was arrested again in late October 2023 for once again violating the restraining order. He is set to appear in court in December. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.